Hi, this is Terry. If you haven't been to my channel before, I am a full-time seller on eBay and went to a couple of estate sales this weekend and wanted to show you some things to look out for that you can also purchase if you happen to run into these things and sell for a good profit. So let's get started. The first thing I want to show you, I will just pull out a few of these. It was a book set. There are 40 of these and they are the Yale Shakespeare. I think these were printed somewhere between 1927 and the 1950s. Um, some of the books say um, 27 and some say as uh, late as 56. So um, I purchased this whole set of these books for $20 and I have them listed for 180 So I know that the comps on those um, went up to $200 or higher. So um, next I have two of these that I purchased. Um, these are Microsoft Wire Mouse and I purchased each one for $4 and I have each one listed for $30. I love new in box items. They're just really easy to list um, and don't take much time at all. Next I have this, um, it is a metronome. So it keeps time, you know, for playing music for musicians. This is a vintage one. The case on it is in excellent condition, beautiful wood case on it. So I tested it, it's working perfectly. So I paid $16 for this and I have it listed for 80. So next up is this musician's dice that I paid $5 for and I have it listed for $25. Next is this Julian Bream artist, guitar player. I purchased this the last day of an estate sale that I had gone to on the first day and everything was half off. I ended up paying $2 for this set and there were two sold comps on these. And one of them was for 175 and the other was for $200 and I have $2 into this. So I think I'm going to have to look for just the right buyer for this. I'll, you know, it could take a while to sell, but I am just willing to take my time on this. They are in mint condition. It looks like the plastic has been taken off of it, but I looked at each and every disc and it doesn't look like any of them were ever played. So. Next, I have this digital thermometer, again, new in package, which I absolutely love. And so this one, I paid $3.50 for, and I'm selling it for $14. Next up is the this vintage Monopoly game that I paid $3 for, and I started an auction at $50 because I'm just not sure what it's going to sell for. Um, it doesn't have all of the pieces and it does not have the board with it. But um, I know that some of these can be pretty desirable, especially if somebody's looking to complete their set or they may just want it just like it is. It does have some really cool pieces in it and it does have a lot of the, the cards in it and the money seems to all be there. So next up is this Actron Timing Light. Um, I guess it's timing in a car. And so I just thought it was really cool. It's, um, I bought it for $9 and I'm asking $29 for it. So we'll see the comps weren't that high on it. I just thought it was cool, even though the profit's not going to be all that great. So this chess game I paid $5 for, and I am selling for $45. It's a magnetic chess game. And it has a um, very cool wood um, case that it comes in. So I know chess is really hot right now. This games are selling. 
So hopefully that will be out the door before long. Picked up this brand new Logitech Clear Chat headset for $2. I'm sorry, for $4 and I have it listed for $55. This I picked up a few weeks ago and I just hadn't listed it yet. It is a 30 inch Marie Osmond doll. And so in this, it is a, um, it's supposed to have patterns, uh, and patterns for over 60 fa fashions. And so I do not have the, um, the patterns in it, but she does look really good. She looks like she was never played with. Um, she's in excellent condition not a super high profit on this i paid twenty dollars for it and it looks like the comps without the patterns are probably going to be right around 75 dollars okay and next up i have these two items that i picked up this weekend um i had three of them two of them were this size and just one this size and i listed the one and it sold within 20 minutes and the buyer reached out and asked if we had any more so we quickly took a photograph because we didn't have these listed yet and sent him these and he didn't want these i guess the one that he purchased was a little bit older these are hand warmers they are made by aladdin they're called john e j-o-n dash e and so anyway i have these two that i purchased for two dollars i purchased a dollar each and I have these both listed in a lot together for $45. Next is this uh, vintage Radio Shack power adapter, three volt that I picked up for, let's see. I picked up for a dollar and I'm selling it for $15. Okay, next up I have these two cassettes. There are two cassettes in each one and I'm selling it as a lot. So you will get four of them. I'm assuming they are from a play and they are the music from the play. Um, so I bought these for $2, a dollar each, and I'm selling them together for $30. And then next up is another Julian Bream. This one, the comps weren't coming up as valuable, so I bought this for a dollar and I'm selling it for $15. Okay, next up is this Star Wars kit. I went to an estate sale and there were only a couple things that I picked up there. It wasn't that great of an estate sale. Things were kind of pricey, including this. I paid $25 for this and the listed comps that were unsold were between a hundred to $175. And I think I only saw one sold comp on this for $65. So I listed this one in an auction starting at $50. So we'll see what happens. And then the last thing are these books here. Um, I have six of them and this is Victor Hugo, Notre Dame de la Perry. And so they are in brand new condition, hard to find comps on these. I think I did see a couple comps right around the $50 range. So that's what I have them listed for about $50 each, a couple of them. I don't have the cover like that. They are in just a cardboard cover and they do look like they were actually possibly red where the other ones look brand new, like they have never been open. So these other two I have listed for $40 each and then the rest I have for 50. Hi, I ran out of time. So I'm finishing this video today and it is a, just the last little things that I had found at my last estate sale that I went to. So, you know, I am a huge fan of vintage Sony Walkmans. 
I remember the first one that I had ever found about a year and a half ago when I first started selling on eBay. It was um, the blue metal case Walkman. If any of you have ever seen Guardian of the Galaxy movie, it really made that Walkman very popular because he was using that Walkman on that movie and that movie was very popular. So I had found one of those at a garage sale for $20 and I think I ended up selling it between four and five hundred dollars. The um, tape was not working in it. So I had um, watched a YouTube video on how to fix it and I ordered um, new bands for it and the bands are inexpensive. I think they're 10 or $20 for a couple of them. And it wasn't easy because I had never done that before, but I did manage to do it, got it all back together, realized that I had the band in backwards. So I had to take all those little tiny screws out again and redo mm -hmm. it. Um, but then it worked perfect and I was able to sell it for hundreds more than I would have if it wasn't working. So since that Walkman, I always keep my eyes open for vintage Walkmans and some of them could be worth just $20, $25 and some could be worth hundreds. So I'll show you what I picked up at this um, estate sale and um, the price I paid for it. Now... Part of them are working and I am going to try to fix part of them. So um, I am going to start ordering the bands that I need for them. So I don't have these listed yet because I am going to try to fix them, but I will show you what I found and what the comps are on them. So this first one is a Sony um, Walkman DD. So it's called a WMDD. And this one I paid just a couple dollars for. And the comps on it right now are for right around $100. So that's if I get it fixed. So I will try and fix this one. Another thing is if you pick it up, put the batteries in it, and you push the play button and you don't hear anything at all, probably something's wrong with the motor. But if you can hear it, turning or trying to turn around but you can't see it turning around the motor is still good and it's because the band is broken and so on all of these walkmans that i picked up um the i can hear them so hopefully i'll just be able to change the bands and get them working again and so this next one this uh sony walkman 2 this one is a WM2. It is red and the comps on it um, are between in five and nine hundred dollars, but those are not sold comps. I couldn't, I didn't research really well, but I couldn't find any sold comps on this. People are just trying to sell theirs between five and nine hundred dollars. Now they did have the belt clip on there is it was like this black strap that went across the front and just hooks onto your belt um and they also had the adapter which i could probably find one in order for this um and i think another one had a headset which is also a good thing to pick up i found this one at that same cell this sony so i will match this up with probably not the red one but probably this one um, would match a little bit better when I go to sell it. So anytime you have any of these little parts, and I probably only paid a dollar for this, um, pick them up, group them together. It'll just make your item more valuable. And then this last um, Walkman is a Walkman Professional. And so this one is called a WMD6. And with the case that I have, this is selling, I saw a sold comp for $485 and I paid $6 for both of these. So again, this one, um, I could hear it wanting to go around, 
but it's not turning when I look in the window. So I'm sure again, it's just a belt though. You know, these are so old that belt is like an old rubber band and they just get brittle and they just don't work anymore. So if you want to put the time and energy into opening it up. It's worth it. And then, so this last one is a Sony Discman. And so this one actually spins around. This one I probably won't fix because I don't know how to fix this one. The disc does spin around in here and I can kind of hear something on it, but it's just not working that well. It does have a, a digital light that lights up here and that is lighting up and it is showing that it's going around, but I'm just not getting the music. I cannot hear the music. And the fact that it came with the case is awesome. So even just for parts, I think this one could sell for around $100. If I was able to fix it somehow, I could sell it for $300. So I might just do it for parts because I don't know how to fix that. And then these are two other items that I had picked up. This one for $6. It is a little Sony compact antenna. Not quite sure how it works, but I will group that with something if, if one of these Walkmans actually comes with an antenna and then this was another one this is a little sony um microphone and i think these were just selling for about 40 to 60 dollars so it's a cute little mic though i like that and so that is all that i would have to say that um anytime you run across Walkmans, pick them up. They're usually worth picking up. Um, okay. And so my next item that I got at the estate cell is this pewter cocktail shaker. It is just so well made. I could not find any comps on this exact company and the uh, company is on the bottom. It's called Classic Shaker Company. I don't think this one was ever used. It just has this really nice detail. I don't know if you could see that around, around the pour. It's just really nice. It also has all of the paperwork and the um, certificate of authenticity. And so I did find the company um, online and I think their shakers were starting at $800. So I just put this, you know, um, put this out there and I'm asking $199 for it. So we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll get attention. Maybe nobody's heard of the brand. I don't know. I paid $25 for it. So I know I could at least get that. Um, hopefully I won't have to keep lowering the price on it. So, and then uh, my last item are these, um, this is my second time purchasing a large lot of these. They are called the Great Courses and they are uh, course guidebooks. So they're teaching um, all types of things. This is the Great Minds of Western Intellectual Tradition. And so it comes with uh, a book and all of these DVDs, um, let's see. This one is Super String Theory, The DNA of Reality. I mean, they just have so many different courses that um, maybe I'll show you real quick. Here is the box full that I have. I've already listed them all. And I bought this entire box for $40. And by the time I'm done, I would have sold them all for just right under um, $700 or right around $700. And the last big bundle of these that I found at a garage sale, and or I'm excuse me, it was an estate sale last summer. Um, I listed them and sold them all within a month or two and same thing. They sold at a very high price. So I'm pretty excited about those. Keep your eyes open for those because they can sell really well and pretty quickly. 
And I think that is it for today. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.